Hi guys, today we're going to do a quick overview of Bobcat ROM for the Galaxy S7 and the S7 Edge. Now Bobcat ROM started with I think Galaxy Note 3, it was one of my favorite ROMs uh, also for Note 4, Note 5. Now the developer is now finally making for the Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. Now this is a Galaxy S7 Edge ROM, but you can go ahead and install on a regular Galaxy S7. It will essentially turn your Galaxy S7 into an S7 Edge. Um, you'll get all the new features of the S7 Edge, not new features, other features, the S screen features on your Galaxy S7, which is cool. And also you can disable if you don't want those features. Um, but this ROM is based on the latest uh, 6.0.1 firmware. All right, I've got to install it on my SMG 935F and it does come with ROM control, uh, some customization, uh, customizable options. As you can see, I've got internet meter here. Um, also, I've got a gradient on my status bar. Um, let me actually walk you through here. Um, so if you go into uh, Bobcat ROM control app, right, you'll find all this stuff here. Um, you can go into system UI, you can enable, disable the network traffic up here. Also, you can go ahead and change the battery uh, settings here using the three minute battery, right? Um, let's say I want something green, it'll change it to green. And let's go ahead and go back. Uh, also, potato clock, uh, make sure you enable um, change the alignment to center to actually get clock because uh, by default it doesn't actually come with a clock and you can go ahead and customize that. Um, notificational background, notification panel background, sorry. I've been in Thailand and my English is just, I don't know, <laughs> getting worse for some reason. Um, some additional uh, options here for system UI. Also you get call recording, automatic call recording if you want. And if you go into framework, um, you'll be able to change your DPI. All right, you can change it from the default 640 to 600 all the way down to 420. Cool, right? That'll make everything look smaller, right? Um, that is really nice. Gesture on home screen, this is kind of fun. Um, you can set uh, different gestures. Uh, let's say swipe up torch. Right now I got swipe down to recent applications. So now if I go ahead and swipe up anywhere in the home screen, so go ahead and swipe up and that will turn on your LED flashlight. Go ahead and swipe up again and that will turn it off. If I swipe down, it'll give me my recents. And you can go ahead and customize that to do whatever you want. Um, that is really fun to do. Also in settings, you can go ahead and set it to two columns or one column. Um, so now I have it set at two columns. So you'll have uh, two columns. So you'll be able to see everything better, which I like it. All right, let's go ahead and go to the next thing you can do here. If you go into useful apps, um, there's a bunch of useful apps. There's air wake up, which is nice. If you have this turned on, you go ahead and swipe over, it will wake up uh, your phone. But your phone has to be sitting on the table. It won't work uh, if it's like this. It might work. Does it work? No, it doesn't work. So your phone has to be sitting down. Um, that's kind of cool. And also you've got add away if you want to get rid of ads if you play a lot of games. Uh, partition backup, root checker, all right? Bunch of useful apps, that's kind of cool. For sound, you got Viper 4 Android that works out of the box, all right? For your headphones, that's gonna be awesome. Dolby Atmos, all right? Skip tracks, volume control. And also you can enable, uh, sorry, enable, disable, increase uh, ringtone, all right? Uh, volume. That is really cool. And this ROM does come with loud sound mod, just like King ROM. Uh, a lot of stuff is actually very, very similar, all right? Because all uh, the developers are using, you know, everyone's sharing with each other. Which is really cool. Uh, there is some options in the Roomba installer. Let me go ahead and show you that after I show you the themes. Themes is really nice. Now you will have to download uh, each of these themes, the APK files, uh, directly from Android Filehost. All right, download the APK files, uh, install them using uh, ES File Explorer or the File Explorer app. All right, and let me go ahead and change it to green. Go to free trial. They're all free. You can also buy it. All right, if you like this ROM. Uh, like I do, I love this developer and this ROM. You can go ahead and buy the themes. All right, we got some Harley uh, themes, a bunch of free themes. Uh, one of the highlights of Bobcat ROM has always been this cool themes. And you know, some people don't like it, some people love it. it it's either you love it or you hate it. There's a Ferrari here, uh, but I really love it. I love his themes, um, so definitely. Great way to get some free themes, um, some really cool themes that you won't find on the Samsung theme store. That's really cool. Let me go ahead and show you how to install it. Oh, also the speed uh, of this phone 
of this ROM. Let me go ahead and show you real quick my last uh, speed test here. I got 129,922. Now you may be able to increase uh, your performance by installing a custom kernel. And this ROM doesn't come with options for custom kernel, but that's something you can do. Here's also a power menu, right? You can go straight to recovery. Also installation guide for those of you, I mean, it's pretty much basic for, but I know some of you want, you know, installation guide. So we'll do it real quick here. Reboot into Twerp. Obviously you should have uh, downloaded the ROM and put it into your phone. Do a wipe, go to advanced format, to system, um, do a wipe, All right? Also before that, make sure you back up EFS. Go ahead and uncheck this. Go ahead and back up EFS. It takes you five seconds to do that. That will save you uh, in the long run because my regular Galaxy S7 lost uh, IMEI after installing Superman ROM. So Superman ROM I think has a problem. All right, um, go ahead and wipe. Uh, after doing system wipe, go ahead and go back. Do a swipe to factory reset. After that, go ahead and install the ROM. Even though the ROM does ask you to wipe, I just like doing manual wipes. Manual wipes, yes. Uh, in the toilet and on the, on the twerp. All right, go ahead and install. This one actually comes in the Aroma installer. I wanna show you all the different options it does come with. Again, this is for S7 and S7 Edge. Um, they're kind of sort of compatible, very compatible, which is good this year because these two phones are nearly identical. Choose English or Italian if you want. Agree, next. Um, all that good stuff, next. All right, here you can, actually it does come with Jesse Kernel, sorry. Um, Jesse Kernel, go ahead and choose for S7 flat, which is the regular S7 or S7 Edge. Next, also you can go ahead and choose your CSC. Um, <coughs> I'm not sure which one mine is, so I'm just go with Italy, default one. Also go ahead and choose a uh, country for your GPS. If you don't see it, go all the way down and you'll be able to also choose different continents. You can say Asia, right, if you want. Um, also, you can go ahead and uh, choose some of the apps you want to remove, debloat your ROM, hit next. Um, also, more stuff you can remove if you don't want it. All right, there's a, a choice for six, three different launchers. Um, I actually chose this one. This is a six hot seat flipboard and it's 460 DPI, but you can go with the stock or just that one up there. Also, the dual speaker Lao sound mod is right here. Go ahead and choose that. Viper for Android, um, if you want Dolby, all that good audio stuff, go ahead and choose that. Hit next, and go ahead and hit next, and you'll be good to go. Now, I'm not gonna install it, because I already installed it, reboot, and you should be good to go. <coughs> Let me go ahead and show you uh, the boot up screen. I know a lot of you are wondering what the boot up screen looks like, and we will end it here. But uh, Bobcat ROM, finally here, this is one of the first versions, so it will have more features in the uh, future. I think it actually has a default uh, boot animation. Um, so I should have an update, but look at that. I got the Ferrari ROM here, or Ferrari theme, sorry. Looking very good. Uh, another great ROM. I like this ROM and also King ROM. Right now, those are two favorites for the S7 and S7 Edge. If you're not running those, then you're missing out, especially with the sound. Um, all the custom ROMs now have sound mod, root, all that good stuff. And most of the, uh, international versions actually don't have Samsung Pay. A lot of people are saying, leaving a stupid comment like, oh, it's gonna disable my Samsung Pay. But a lot of you who have international models, you will not have, you will not already have Samsung Pay unless you like live in Korea, several countries. I heard Spain just got it. But most countries actually don't have a Samsung Pay if you live outside the US. Um, so you probably, it wouldn't matter to you because this phone doesn't have Samsung Pay. It didn't come with it, so. Anyway, I just want to add that. Have a great day, folks. Install the ROM. Don't forget to donate to the developer of Bobcat ROM, uh, one of my favorite developers if you end up using this as a daily driver. Have a great day. Uh, cop and cop. And as always, stay on Android. Hi. Click here to subscribe. Click here to subscribe. 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 Subscribe.